when I look at the ulnar claw hand, I want to talk about the ulnar paradox. What exactly is ulnar paradox? Ulnar paradox means that the amount of clawing is dependent upon where the ulnar nerve got injured. You can have an ulnar nerve injury right around the elbow, behind the medial epicondyle, the ulnar nerve goes. Or you can have an ulnar nerve injury right around the wrist. So, around the wrist, around the elbow, anywhere. Around the elbow, it is called as high ulnar nerve palsy. Around the wrist, low ulnar nerve palsy. Now, when you have ulnar nerve injury around the wrist or around the elbow, the difference is around the elbow, the medial half of flexor digitorum profundus, the long flexors of the fingers is supplied by the ulnar nerve. When the injury occurs around the wrist, because FDP has been supplied around the elbow, it is spared. Let us understand the difference. Imagine you have an ulnar nerve palsy. Lumbricals are gone. You have clawing. Now, if the injury is around the wrist, you know the long flexors of these two fingers, FDP medial half, it will contract and cause more clawing. So, ulnar nerve injury around wrist will have clawing, proper clawing. But if the injury occurs around the elbow, the FDP is also paralyzed. So, the clawing will be less. Surprising, no? When the injury is more proximal, you should have more damage. Example, brain injury to finger injury. Brain injury will have more damage. But in ulnar nerve injuries, around the elbow, although damage is more, but the clawing evident is less. So, elbow injury, high ulnar nerve injury, less clawing. Wrist injury, low ulnar nerve injury, more clawing. So, ulnar paradox. Injuries around elbow have low clawing or high ulnar nerve injury has low clawing, less clawing.